We are Nueve Arte Urbano, a platform for the creation of murals and transgraffiti with a total responsibility philosophy. We propose cultural freedom as a way to question ourselves and the reality around us, giving meaning to our world and strength to our identity, rescuing the best of the past to shape a brighter future. As Mexicans, we know the challenges of building an identity under a history of conquest. We found in Estonia a mirror nation with an ancient indigenous culture that has been invaded and still finds ways to keep growing strong. We, as an artistic community, believe in the great power of the symbols created by the new generations to catalyze culture and change the world. This is why we created Mextonia to find ourselves in the mirror of others, uniting cultures through color. My name is Sigrid Omfell and uh, I am founder of Toto Estona SD, which is a Estonian company and also I'm a co-creator of Mixtonia Festival. Mixtonia is definitely it's a multi-dimensional benefit for the local community and for the country to just bring out a few things. Uh, definitely it is a boost for the Estonian artists to give them the chance to fight for the freedom to express on the streets this is one part of it, and give them the chance to grow and show what they are capable of. Then for the local community. My name is Edgar Sanchez. I am the founder of Nueve, and I am one of the creators of Mextonia. We created Mextonia because we have a dream. We connected Mexico and Estonia because these two countries share a common culture. It's a very ancient connection to nature. Part of our message is to tell the world to protect culture, to protect the sacred uh, cultural treasures of the world. After seven years of producing art in the streets of Mexico, we felt capable of taking the next big step. We offered a gift from the people of Mexico to the people of Estonia in celebration of its first centennial as a republic. A gift of culture, a process of change to challenge the status quo and give new meaning to the pride of being Estonian and Mexican. So we offered our work, our effort, our pain, our resources, our talent, under the rain and cold in the Baltic nation at the edge of the world.
I work alongside Pangea Seed Foundation. Um, I'm the New Zealand Regional Director, so I help kind of coordinate local projects over there. Pangea Seed have collaborated with Mextonia and um, Nueva Arte Urbano for this festival um, as, I guess, environmental partners. So my mural behind us here um, features the Estonian sea eagle, uh, which is a threatened species at the moment due to habitat destruction. Numbers for these birds have been dwindling and that's due to human impact. So thinking about, you know, what you do within your environment and how we can all live together harmoniously. We visited Kinu Viva, who was the subject matter of my mural. She lives on a small island off the coast of, of Estonia and she's probably the most celebrated of all Estonian folk musicians. She's 90 years old and she's written over 300 songs in her lifetime. Traditionally, um, men of the island spend much of their life at sea fishing, but nowadays because According to her, the fish are disappearing. So many of the young people are moving from the island to the mainland. So I think the situation in Kihnu is not only isolated to that place. I think it's a very similar situation in many small island communities and cultures around the world, in which because the larger world is perhaps exploiting our resources and our planet, these small island communities are finding it hard to sustain themselves and um, continue on into the future. It's also talking about the relationship between people and their landscape here. Estonians have a really beautiful connection with their environment, with nature, um, and I wanted to do something that expresses that and talks about the, uh, the importance of, of protection of not only our forests here, but also the ocean, you know, the Baltic Sea is right here. Um, so it's talking about the protection of the land and the sea and all the creatures that live within that environment. The nature is not other thing. They feel one with nature to continue that, but because I see a lot of this here, but maybe in Mexico we forgot that. That's so important because we are one with nature. The nature is not other thing. We are nature too. So that's the thing I want to connect. That really the culture strives from the land and earth and the sea. You see, and this is uh, something which is still available in abundance here. But if we are not conscious of where we come from and who we are, this is not going to last forever. This is needed to bring consciousness to us as, a, as a Estonians, but also to the world to give the message about valuing the earth, the sea, cultural freedom. I think that uh, getting to know uh, different people and the way they look at things and what they expect from the future and what they enhance from the past speaks a lot about where are you from, how important is the weather, how important is the environment, how important is the sun. But you have to get to know uh, the people that you met here to understand more than what is in the in internet or, or what people can be telling you about it. So it just becomes like an experience to, that you have to continue. I mean, like it's not only here in Estonia, which is an amazing place. I think this festival will open doors and I hope it brings us to, uh, closer to the, like we can paint everywhere around the city. Right now it happened already, but, but it was only a beginning, I hope. Mextonia took us beyond our limits, proving that we can believe in changing the world. Now in Mexico, we are back in the deep barrio, connecting with the social tissue of our own land, gathering new strength and talent and collecting wisdom. Preparing ourselves to cross the bridges once again on a new journey, somewhere in the world, to unite culture through color towards a brighter future. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history yeah.